Good morning, today I'm going to show how to pre-fill, pre-populate your React Hook form with uh, data. Let's say you have this simple form. You have uh, first name, Maxim, and last name, Ivanov, inputs. When we submit the form, we want to alert the data. What if you want to preload the data from the backend and pre-populate your form with these uh, values? Here is our code. We get the register object from the use form. We pass it as a ref to our inputs. So React Hook form can track changes in our inputs. We get the handle submit that we pass as an onSubmit handler to our form. And we pass our onSubmit handler to handle submit method. Now, what if we have some data that we want to use to pre-populate the form? Const preloaded values equals, and let's say I have first name, user, last name, user son. You can pass the preloaded values to use form through the options object. The option field is called default values and we pass the preloaded values object there. Let's go to the browser. As you can see only the last name was preloaded. First name somehow did not work. Why? If we go back you will see that first name has the n capitalized. So the name of this field does not match the name of the input. If we fix it and make this letter non-capitalized, go back to the browser, now the data is pre-populated. So keep in mind that the field names in your preloaded values object that you will pass to default values need to match the field names of your inputs. Now what if you get those initial values for your form from some API, so it will be a sync request. In this case, I would actually move the form to a separate component. New file, user, form.js. I would copy this, rename the component to user form, remove this CSS, remove the default export, export the component itself, and I would receive the preloaded values through the props. Now inside of the wrapper component, in our case it will be app.js. I'm going to remove all this code for now. And here I would use use effect to load the data. We will do it only once when component will mount. We'll also need a state to store this data. Const data set data equals use state with default value null. And here we define a function const fetch data equals async function. Now inside of it we call set data to await get user data that I defined in the API module. Now we call fetch data and we return a user form component and we pass the preloaded data from the state. Let's import the user form import user form from user form okay the prop should be called preloaded values and now we only want to show this form if we have the data here i'm going to use the ternary operator if data then user form with preloaded values otherwise i render a loader component it is going to be a simple div with text loading now I remove the use form import from the app component and let's go to the browser. As you can see the data is successfully preloaded. Let's reload the page. We get the loader and when we have the data we render the form with pre-populated values. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what form library do you prefer and also join my discord server to pick the topics for the next videos. See you next time.